Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damit. Today we are going to learn how to download a file from FTP server to local folder by using SSIS package. So what we will learn in this video how to create an SSIS package from basics, how to connect to the FTP server by using our Internet Explorer or Mozilla or Chrome and then uh, we will learn how to download a file from FTP server by using FTP task in SSIS package. We will also learn how to use the variables to save the local folder path and file name and also remote folder paths in the variables and use in FTP task. Now first of all let me show you how the FTP server look like how the interface we are going to connect. So let's open our Internet Explorer. You can use any Explorer that you like. And then what we need, we need the FTP server name or IP address we are using. In my case, I'm using an IP address. So I need to copy this one. Let me copy the whole thing. Show you a few things here real quick. And now if I will put it here, it will just open that folders for me I'm on the root and then I have three folders if I will click uh, on any of the folder it will uh, open that and I'm here opening a customer.txt file it will ask me in password and all that uh, if uh, I haven't saved the password so I have saved the password in this case uh, uh, let me open so all all the files I'm able to open now let's go to the root level here if I will take exactly the same thing and uh, open uh, an SSIS package now let's go to the SSDT or bids uh, and then create a new package right click here on SSIS packages uh, and new SSIS package so here we are gonna say pkg download file from FTP and we have the file here on FTP server that we want to download. We have a file in the test folder and this is called customer.txt. So it has only a couple of lines that we want to download. So this file is not big, it's small file. And we want to download this file to this folder that we have created on the desktop. So now we are creating an SSIS package to download that file. First of all, we have to use the FTP task. So bring the FTP task. You will find the FTP task in the control flow pane and or a toolbox. Click on FTP task. And then we have to have make a connection to the FTP server. New connection. And here we have to provide the IP address or the FTP server name that we have. So in my case, I'm providing uh, this uh, IP address. Then you have to provide the username. So my username is Amir. And then I have to provide the password. So what happened? If I will test this connection, it is failing. It is telling me connection cannot be established. Server name, port name, or credentials may be invalid. That's not really right. What uh, it is uh, complaining? Uh, because we have used FTP and backslashes here, that's the problem. So you just have to remove that part and only provide the IP address or if you have a um, server name ftp.microsoft.com or ftpyourcompany.com, whatever. So you would provide it. You would not provide uh, the backslashes and all that. So now if we test the connection, it is successful. Hit OK. Next part, we go to the file transfer and here in the operations uh, we have to download the file so we have to receive the files so we will select in receive files and here we have to provide where we want to download that file and uh, this remote parameters it tells us what exactly you want to download so now we will uh, here we will use the first we will use uh, as it is then we will use the variables now here I'm not using any variable is local path variable false so I have to make a connection so create new connection and here we have to provide the folder path where it will download the file so we browse and then we go to the desktop and here we have local let me see we have local folder that's what we need to select we are all good 
here in the remote path we have to provide the complete path folder name backslash the file name that we want to download you can hit here and it will open that uh, folders for you and then you can select from here or you can write by yourself so we are downloading customer.txt file hit ok and that's how it will write this here so backslash folder then backslash file so consider this scenario you are downloading this file on every day uh, at 5 p.m. for your company and the, the company who write this file they will overwrite fi uh, this file every day at 4 p.m. and then you always run this package and download the same file and overwrite in your local folder as well so if, even in the right now we didn't say overwrite in the destination so we can set that to true if this file exists in the local folder we will override it and then our other processes or packages will take this file and uh, run it maybe at 10 p.m. so hit ok we are all set let's go to the folder and take a look we do not have the file here so we have to go back here run the package and it completed successfully we are all good check the folder so the file is there let's open the file and we see that the file has a couple of lines that we have seen on the FTP server let's uh, drop this file or delete this file and now let's go back to the uh, SSIS package and create the variables so we can use those variables in the configuration and we can pass different uh, folder path for local and remote so these variables are really good when we are doing, using configuration and we don't have to make changes in the package we will be making changes to the only or we will be providing values to the variables only by using configuration so we will call it local folder and here I will be providing the path tomorrow if I decide this is not the path I can just pass this value by using the configuration and change to the folder I like next part I have to create the remote file variable so we will call it remote file remote file variable or path whatever you like here we will be also providing string and if you remember it has to has folder so it is test folder and then backslash the file so customer.txt that's the file so if you want to confirm it you can go to the FTP and take a look so we have test folder and then we have backslash customer.txt so that's how you will be providing the value to your variable now if tomorrow your file change does change let's say you on the FTP you just have to provide the value to this variable uh, by using the configuration so it can be customer underscore AS or NA or any other thing whatever or uh, the company decide to change the name so you don't have to change the package only you will be providing the values to the variable by using the configuration now we use these variables in the file system task go here we are saying yes it is a variable and here we will say local folder variable that has the path of that folder and then we will say is a remote path variable yes and then we will say remote file path variable so that has the folder and the file name now hit ok we are all good let's check the file file is not there now got to go and run our SSIS package and it completed successfully stop the package go to the folder and we see that the file is there and we can open the file so we are all good next uh, if you are interested to learn about FTP and uh, you don't have FTP set up uh, I suggest you watch in our two videos uh, that we had made on uh, how to set up uh, FTP server by using Windows 7 and also we have a video how to set up uh, uh, FTP server by using Windows uh, uh, 2012 so you can watch those videos and set up your FTP at home and test all these scenarios thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video